Hey Jackals, I found a cool tool for video editing and I thought you should use it too. Now let's get digital. The website is Burris Effects and the tool in question, you can find it under the products and it's called Practical Illusion. Simply click on it, you'll get to this page, go to the downloads, Practical Illusion is selected, also select the operating system and you can download the standalone version. Once you install it, you'll find it in the menu. So it's this one, standalone, practical illusion standalone. So let's open it. And once you do open it, this window will pop up. So you can download the free emitters over 2500 and simply download it. And I think this is the same link if you download this one. So once you have that downloaded, you will have a bunch of effects, as you can see. And you can also search for them. But before you start using practical effects, especially if you want to make your own, I suggest you go to the practical illusion section, go almost all the way down and watch the free training. And as you can see, you have a bunch of sections that you can watch. But if you just want to jump into the practical illusion, use some presets and maybe change them, I'll show you just that. You can simply click on a preset to see the animation. You can also click in the preview window to trigger the animation from that point. And the one that I'll do, I'll search for it. So I'll use the watery portal. And then you simply double click on it to put it here. And as you'll see, this looks pretty much the same as it does in the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve, because we have nodes. So we can change the glow, the electricity and the ball. So in these properties, with the glow, we have the colors and we can change this to anything that you want. Maybe we will go with a pinkish hue. Do the same here, we'll just be changing the color, nothing too fancy because this is probably what you will want to do. But as I said, you can change pretty much anything. The one thing that I didn't find is how you can change the color over time. So if you do know how to do that, let me know. So this is now the animation. What you can also do is add another effect to this. So I'll use this one. It's a halo. Looks like this. Again, simply double click on it. Now with this effect selected, let's see what you have. So this effect pops up here. We can go to the last keyframe by simply clicking on these icons. If you click on the middle, the dots are a constant value, a slash is a linear, and this is a Bezier curve. I can now simply adjust this. So this is what it looks like. Maybe I'll make it like this, so it's not as big. Perfect. Now I can simply change the color in the properties and color. And in this case, I'll change it to maybe this one. And what you can do now is simply copy this one, paste it, and in the angle, you can now simply change it. So this one will be 45. I'll make a second copy, paste it, and put this as negative 45. Now this is the effect that we ended up with. And all you need to do is to export it. Now, as you can see, all of the nodes have plenty of options. So if you want to mess with them, I suggest you go watch the tutorials so you can see which one does what. As for the export, let's say that this is my composition. 1200 frames is a little bit too much, but if that's what you need, you can do that. Otherwise, you can go to view project settings. In this case, this is 30 frames per second and the duration is 1200, which is a little bit too much, but let's say that we want it to be that long, so we can apply it. Then go to file, render project. In this case, we'll give it a name. I'll leave everything else as is. Now simply start to render. Now once the render is complete, you can simply view the file or add it to the video and use it as an effect. 
just like this one. Now this was just one of the effects. As you could see, you have a ton of them. And that's basically it. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.